welcome back guys so in this video let us do about elementary os elementary is very unique and is one of the most famous linux distribution out there so when you visit this website you have these three options but you don't need to pay just click on and type in zero and you can still download it so if you want to support you can do it otherwise just type in zero and download it and the download will start uh, i'll recommend you use an external download manager for faster downloads so once the download is finished we need to go to this partition create partition program just search for it and here we need to create a partition so already have created a 50 gb partition so from your d drive you just need to right click and shrink and type in the amount of space you want to create so i already have an os installed in it so i'm going to right click on it and delete Now that is deleted, I need to create a new volume. So right click new volume. Just keep on pressing next and next and finish. So we have a new fresh partition made. Also make sure you check your partition scheme. So right click on disk zero and go to properties and under volume you can see your partition scheme so mine is gpt make sure you note it down so now we need this uh, software called rufus to make our bootable usb so we need to select the iso file that we downloaded of elementary os locate it and just uh, select now we need to choose the partition scheme to gpt in my case and keep it all it all at default and just press start it will format and create a bootable usb it will take a long time so i'm just going to fast forward so once the uh, the flashing of the bootable pen drive is done we need to restart our computer in the bios menu so restart and while it's restarting we need to click on the bios key for my hp laptop is escape so when i do that we have this option shows up and now we need to click on f9 for boot options and need to select the usb that we created so this is usb and when you click on it uh, the installation for elementary os shall begin it will do some setup checks and then you will see the uh, further procedure it will load all the iso files and check the system configurations just wait for it and then you will see you will have this window do select your language then your keyboard layout And here we need to select the custom install because we need to dual boot so we need it to be installed on the partition that we created so select custom install and next and it will check the configurations on all the partitions available so click on modify partitions on the lower left you can see our partition is right there but actually we have only one partition and this requires two partitions so I already ha only have 50 GB so we need to create another partition uh, inside that 50 GB partition we already made because we need a root uh, slash root and also slash boot EFI so just select your partition 
and click on that resize and type in the 500 MB we need an another 500 MB of uh, partition so type in 500 and you will get this 500 500 MB and the remaining we have to also create the partition because it has not been deleted so just uh, keep it at default and just create so 500 MBA has been excluded from that uh, for 50 GB of partition and just and hit apply so it will apply all the operations that we created once it's done we will have two partitions 500 MB and the uh, 49 something GB it will reload all the partitions it might in your case shows up or not you might just can also install it in 50 GB for for me it was it required a boot EFI as well so I had to create a 500 MB partition so just look at the top you will see the instruction so we'll select the 500 MB one and create and set the use as as boot EFI just enable it all and set it as boot EFI and in the 50 GB we will use it as just root then we will see this option erase and install so just tap on it once you click on the erase and install the installation will begin and it will take a, it will take some time after it's done your uh, laptop system will restart so again go to your uh, BIOS menu and then go to the boot options and select from here make sure to select Ubuntu and if it shows elementary you can also click on elementary for mine is Ubuntu because that is for the Linux and you will see this option so select the first one and your elementary OS uh, setup will begin you can see the option we need to set up the language again this is the real setup for the OS that was only for installation you need to also create a username and password then next and just uh, type in your password and you will be uh, in the elementary OS home screen you can see the dock down is like other Linux distros you have these display settings and colorful icons in the grid format you have these all these beautiful default wallpapers as well just clicking on it changes the wallpaper So this was this is all the wallpapers uh, you can choose between dark mode and light mode and also choose the different accent colors dark mode looks really good you can choose the size of the dock This is the multitasking screen. You have a usual options, Bluetooth and you can see the Wi-Fi is working. And the UI is very user friendly and very smooth as well. This is the browser. And in order to minimize it, you either need to right click on the top and hide or you have to press on the icon again to minimize so there is no minimize uh, like icon that bothers me a lot I don't know why they haven't provided like in this OBS we don't see that right click menu so we need to press the icon to minimize the app so that's a bit troublesome but but the UI is really smooth and I haven't seen any lag this is the app store uh, the amount of apps aren't very much so collection is pretty 
minimum but it does the job you can always install more apps from the terminal so that is the way to go for this one because this has only the basic apps available this is the coding app so if you are using this for coding this will how the interface will look pretty retro looking so you can see the minimizing is a bit hassle but the performance is really good compared to other OS and there is no bug here you can access all the applications just one click this is really good it doesn't take up the whole screen it's just on your top corner you can access all your applications so that was it for this video hope you like it and i'll see you in the next one